Hello, hello. Welcome to Therese Park Art. Sorry about the glare today. I'm trying it in a different location to see if um, maybe it's my direct line of sight to my router or something is stopping me from being able to go live on both units. Um, today, I'm going to teach you how to use carbon paper to trace the Eiffel Tower onto a canvas. And this is rather large. It's 16 by 20. So I will post the um, tracer. You'll print it and you'll tape all four pieces together so it makes one piece. Now, for the carbon paper, oops, I just dropped one. Carbon paper, we're gonna put down on here to cover all four corners. And you're gonna put the shiny side down. Shiny side is the one that's actually got the ink on it that's gonna transfer. You'll see this one has lines. I've actually used it before. Um, carbon paper can be used multiple times. Oops, sorry. I dropped a piece. Okay. And put that shiny side down. Have a little fan going too, which is making it kind of difficult, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to put the Eiffel Tower where we want it, or the, whichever picture you're trying to copy over. That goes off the top right there. Okay. So if you buy your carbon paper from Amazon, and I will put a link in, I am a, uh, an affiliate, but I don't get much enough for coffee maybe. And, um, but if you can buy from Amazon, it's really expensive and it comes with these little, um, they're actually mandala daughters, daughters, <laughs> and they have the little round um, tip on them that make them really nice. So now we are just going to outline our Eiffel Tower does not have to be perfect as you can tell i've already made a couple of my lines not so straight but we will straighten them once we start to paint this will give you a really good idea of where things should be on the canvas and So it, it goes pretty quick, and like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. We will kind of, uh, you know, make it a little better once we go over it with paint. It'll be a little bit easier, um, but it is kind of fun having an outline on your canvas, so you kind of know, you know, it's sometimes it's easier than freehand, especially for me. I am not the best freehand artist, for sure. Shoot, I can hardly use copy paper. So we get this on here. I have some tape, and when I taped them together, um, I'll let you know your little dot, little dot tool, not doctor, <laughs> your dot tool actually will slide off tape. It'll just slide right off, so you have to kind of go slow over the tape. And get this put down here. Let's do the lamp. I'm sure I've forgotten some lines, but we'll keep everything handy so that we kind of know where it should be. And of course, this is just a suggested picture. You can do this with any picture that you want to paint. Just outline where you want to paint it. And it makes it super easy. Or easier anyway. Okay, almost done. My leaves look a little bit like lemons, but that's okay. And we're gonna go like this. Let's take a look here. I think I've got most of it. So now we're gonna move the picture and we'll take off the carbon paper. Okay. And there is the Eiffel Tower on the can you see that? And it is down. So it's light enough that you can cover it with your paint and it's dark enough to still see it. So let me grab some paint plates and napkins. I have moved positions today, so hopefully this will work out. Okay, 
So now what we're going to do is, let's go ahead and start with the background. In the background, I'm going to use a little bit of the, let me get my picture out. I think we did a pink background. And this, of course, can be any color you want. So I'm going to start with the Royal Fuchsia, maybe. Royal Fuchsia. Uh-oh, my dogs are going to start howling. I apologize. One moment. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Is that necessary? Excuse me. No. 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 Okay, so I don't know why he's picked up howling lately. I do apologize. So he might howl again. It's a little Pomeranian, and he's got a very loud voice. So I've got the, the um, oh, I'm sorry. I've got the Royal Fuchsia, which is a lighter uh, burgundy. And I have some bubblegum pink. So the bubblegum pink... I'm going to start with on the outside, it's the lighter color pink. And let me go ahead and I will use a one inch chip brush here. It was kind of dirty, so I had it in water. Okay, so I'm going to use this pink and I'm going to start in the background with the light pink, the bubblegum pink. Like that. And I always go on the outside of the canvas. So if I want to hang it, I don't have to frame it. And it doesn't have any weird, you know, the paint goes over the side and makes it kind of strange looking if it's not flat. But all one color. So we're going to go over the lamp here. And I can kind of still see the lines. So we'll kind of follow that up as well. Um, if it's too dark or if you you don't want to cover lines, you can always go up just right to it and just over the lines so that you can still kind of see them. Okay, and here. I'm just kind of going over the lines here so that the background is complete, but I can still see the flowers. Put this up here. I might have to. Let's see. My flowers didn't go all the way to the bottom, so what we'll probably do is I'm just going to leave that. You know, I'll paint that green. Let's leave that there and let's go back up here with the pink. And can we go around the outside here? And here. Outside the flower here and my Eiffel Tower there. And I forgot the little, no, there it is. Oops, hit dark. Let's get back into the pink and we'll go under here. All right, where it can kind of see through. And then on the outer edge, which will actually probably be covered, or it's going to be the leaning tower of Eiffel. So we'll go this way. And again, I'm going to do the outside of my my canvas. The nice thing is we can fill everything in that we need to. We can always change it. It's never permanent until we say it's done. So when you decide it's done, it's done. And let's use a little more of the pink. I'm going to use a little more of the bubble gum. Just a touch here. And sorry about that. To use a little more of the bubble gum, and I'm going to paint on the inside here where it sees through here. And here. And through here. Probably getting pink paint all over my shirt. But you know, I am so good at painting, getting more paint on myself than I am on anything else. Oh, especially when I paint walls. Oh my goodness, can y'all paint walls? I cannot paint walls. I tried to paint my kitchen and I think I had more yellow on me than on anything else. Piece there sticking out. 
And let's see, what else do we have? I think that's all in the light pink. Can you see that? Okay. Now, what I'll do is, I just want to make sure everything's kind of covered. And I really, what is that little, it's funny, it looks like a little piece of bubble gum. Uh, in my bubble gum. Okay, so got that. So now what I'd like to do, while it's still damp, and I know where my, my Eiffel Tower is, so I'm going to go ahead and get some of the um, fuchsia. And let's just paint in some of these little lines on the outside of the Eiffel Tower. Like here, and maybe here, and here. And I do not like that right there. That little piece is still getting me. Okay, so let's get rid of that all together. I'm going to go ahead and get a thinner brush for this. So I've got a nice little round brush. Let's do the round brush and the fuchsia. We'll make some lines here and here. And here. Yeah, I have too much water on that. And let's get the fuchsia here. Some fuchsia lines here, just kind of down the sides. Can we give a little bit of personality? And we will probably come back and give it some more lines as well. This is also kind of telling me where everything is. And, oops, and, yeah, okay. So it's kind of telling me where all that is. Get this put down here. I'm just using my round brush and just kind of streaking it on in there. And I'm going to go ahead and blend it in a little bit because I do kind of like that blended. So let's go ahead and blend it in. And what we will do is when it's all dry, we'll also come back and give it some darker lines there. We'll blend it in for now. Just with the edge of the round brush. I just have the round brush laying down on it. And I know this isn't how it's supposed to work, but... You know, it's okay. I like it like this, and I kind of like the, the darker color in the background. So let's work it that way. And put that kind of in the background here. I kind of like that. I'm just kind of blend in a little bit of that dark into that light pink. Get some dark spots. Okay. So now, once we're done with that part, for now, I want to go ahead and take my... I'm going to take my liner brush and some black paint, and I'm going to go ahead and outline my Eiffel Tower. Now, I will have to go ahead and I will have to re-outline it, of course, because I'll end up painting over my outlines. But I kind of want to get an idea of where it's supposed to be. So let's go down like this and like this. If you know me, you know I cannot talk and paint straight lines. So this is when things get a little quiet on my end. And like I said, these are real thin lines and I'm just putting them in because I kind of want to see where it's going to, except for that's thicker. I kind of want to see how this is going to, where I'm going to end up putting all my my color. Sorry, I told you I cannot talk and paint. So, or draw straight lines. So let's go here and like that. And then we'll go down from there, and this will go down from there. You do not have to put in the lines first. You can put them in last. It just kind of gives me an idea about where everything is. And let's put this guy right here. Even though in my picture he goes off the edge, that's okay. We're just going to... Put them in kind of like that for now. So that's kind of the rough lines, right? Maybe here too. 
those are kind of the rough lines in the black. Let me rinse that out. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Atlantis. I'm using this color Atlantis, which is almost the same as the Peacock Teal. I think this is a little light, a little lighter color. So there's the, the Atlantis. And I'm going to get a flat brush. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint that on the inside here. Up here. I'm going to try not to grab the black, <laughs> which sometimes is hard. And it's okay if the pink is still showing through there. I'm going to get the aqua painted in. What we're going to do is we'll start with the aqua and when it's dry we'll add a little white and we'll lighten up the lighten it up a little bit and then we will draw in those x's that we had put in there with carbon paper so as you can see some of the pinks over it which is great it actually gives a little bit of personality there where the pink went over the lines and let's go ahead and we're going to paint this in here. I picked up some of the black, which is okay. Because it does not need to be perfect for sure. This is definitely a different take on the tower. <laughs> oh, I grabbed a little pink and changed the color altogether right there, which is great. You see how I did that? That I think that's great. So we're going to paint this in blue. And I'm grabbing some of the black, which is fine. We're going to go through, like I said, with some white. Oh, I forgot a black line there. We'll pick that up here in a minute. And get the blue put in. I'm just going to do that across there with about the width of my brush there. And I got some more black, which is good. See how well, sometimes I'm grabbing that black and it's actually looking really nice in there. And that's fine. I kind of like that personality. Okay. And I could actually probably use quite a bit bigger brush here, but I'm going to go ahead and use what I've got here. Now, my, my aqua actually got into the pink, and you'll see a little pink in the aqua, which doesn't bother me at all. I, I kind of like it. Um, sometimes it just works that way where, you know, happy little accidents, as Bob Ross would say. No mistakes. Happy little accidents. So it's given it a little bit of extra flair, extra color. And we're going to go down here, this whole thing right here. I'm going to go around the flowers and the leaves. And Get a little pink in there too, which is fine. And I just need a little more teal. We'll finish painting this Eiffel Tower with the teal. And then we'll give it some other colors. Brighten it up a little bit. This is just a happy take on the tower. My friend Heidi actually created this painting and I liked it. And she said I could use it, which is awesome. Just because I really enjoyed it. And it's fun to paint. This is so fun to paint. I hope you paint it because it is really fine. It's a good time. Okay, went over the edge there, and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring around the blue in here. 
and a little bit of blue here. I'll probably end up painting that purple and pink there. I'm going to just go ahead and spread that black out a little. That looks good. And let's see what else. I have to add some more black in there. Okay, so that's good for now. I'm going to wash off my paintbrush. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some white. And let's see if we use a little one inch brush here. And let's see I don't know if you can see that very well. I'm just got to have a dry brush. And I'm just going to put some white into the pink. The pink is still wet, so it's going to go in nicely. And just lighten that up a little bit, almost like clouds. Oops, got the black there. That's all right. And I'll get this put in here just to lighten it up a little bit. Like I said, it's just a fun little painting. You can kind of do anything you want with it. And I got some black there. Get that out of there. Okay. Kind of gives it mm -hmm, not so much of the flat feel, right? When you have a little bit more color in there. I picked up the black there, which is pretty. I'm going to go here with the white. And of course, it brings that dark out really nice too, where we left the fuchsia. White here. Yeah, it looks a little foggy and cloudy. Looks great. Okay. I'm gonna paint that green. I don't wanna forget. Okay. So now, what I'm gonna go ahead and do we're going to kind of let that dry a little bit and let me get out the purple. So get out the purple here, I'm going to paint the flowers and these of course are blob flowers. Huh? That's technical term blob and we're going to paint them purple. Let me get the water. I just washed my brush. I'm going to get the water out of my brush and let's go ahead. I think you can see that. Okay. We can purple and the um, where the flowers are going to be. They're just going to be a blob. My blob flowers. And this it's kind of nice because they go on and I just go in kind of in circular motion the way the flowers are circular. Get the purple laid down. And I'll do it on both flowers. And then we'll separate the flowers with a little color. Whenever we get the details put in here. Okay, and there's that second flower there. I grabbed a little of the black, which actually is looks really good. And let's make some of that purple and white. Let's just kind of go up in here, add a little color into that black area just because we can. Okay. And there's the flower. The rest will be green. rinsed out real good. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take my round brush and I'm going to go ahead and give it the marks back where we were. Let me get my picture here so I kind of get an idea where the marks were on here. Oh, you know, I think I want to lighten that up quite a bit with the white first. So, now you're seeing changes on the fly. <laughs> so, the black, I'm going to pull that off with my brush, and I'm just going to wipe that off. 
Then I'm going to dip the brush in the white, and let's give this a little bit of white as well, and let's lighten this up. I just decided I just don't like it that dark. So, we'll use a little white. We're going to lighten all this up. And there goes a little gray in there, which is fine. There's some white. Do some white here. I am just stroking it in there just to kind of give it a little bit of personality. Yeah, I kind of like that. And we'll go down like this. And this is just with, oops, a little pink, which worked fine. Too much white there. Okay. This is almost a dry brush at this point. It's really dry. So we're just going to add some white and some pink in and kind of lighten that color. And down here. Lighten that up quite a bit there. And that goes underneath. And again, we will do the lines again. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I kind of like that a lot. Go back up here. Yes, I do. I like that a lot better. Okay, so now we're going to go back to our black lines. And I'm going to use a liner brush. And let's get those black lines put in up here. Yeah, that looks much better. Get these put in. Okay. And the little one, I think, had what? Little lines and circles. Oh, just little lines here. Let's put in little lines. Okay. Lines here. Okay. And down here, we're just going to get the outline. And some circles. Let's do circles here. Put in some circles. Hold my little dots. I love dots. And I'm going to go ahead and put this line in here that was which, that I never put in there. I missed it. And let's get the lines put in here. Like so, make that bigger dot. Alrighty, and then down here, I'm just gonna put that line back in. I'll make it a little thicker towards the bottom, and let's put in just some marks here. Okay, and down here we've got. Just some personality. Let's do it this way. And we're just going to give it some marks. Some wear and tear down here. And over on this side a little bit. And let's do this a little thicker here. Okay. Okay, make it draw out this way. That's underneath that bridge. Okay. And cover up any canvas I'm missing. And let me put in a little bit more outline here. So as you see, it's just kind of a mess. And I just kind of put my lines wherever I wanted them. And I think it's so much fun. So this is just the fun Eiffel Tower. Put in some lines that I got took out just for good measure. Alrighty, so now we've got that. And now let's go ahead and 
Let's put some green in on the flower. So I'm going to go ahead and get the dark green for the leaves and the grass. I didn't want to forget to change that grass. We're going to use some dark green. And this is actually, I'm using hunter green today for the leaves. And I'm just going to go ahead and go ahead and paint in my footballs because that's what they look like, little footballs. Next to my flowers here. Oh, and I don't want to forget the light. I always forget my light. My little light that's next to the tower. Anyway, let's go ahead and put my footballs in here. Like so. And okay, got the dark green. I'm gonna go ahead and put the green, some green in down here for grass underneath the tower. I've never seen it, so I don't know if there's grass or water at the tower, but everything I've seen in pictures shows grass, and I think actually some have shown water in some areas, but I don't know what it really looks like. If it knows, you need to tell me, <laughs> so I'll know too. I'll go down this way. I'm going to go ahead and paint all of this green like it's grass, and we'll just kind of meet it up about right there to the pink. That's just kind of up to us how we want to paint that. And we'll put this around here. I love fun paintings like this because it just, you know, it doesn't matter on any painting. Um, but when you're doing a loose painterly painting like this, it just everything works well. Um, all the colors go together. You can pretty much make it your own, do whatever you want to do with it because it's just so much fun. You know, so easy to change on the fly. Okay, so there's my grass and my flowers up close. Um, let's see, I guess I need to go put my light in here. So I really like my little liner brush. So let me get my liner brush, look at the picture here and get some black paint. And it looks like goes up to about here, so I can't see my lines. I'm looking to make sure. Okay, goes down to about right here. And we'll get the pole painted in here. With my liner brush. And there's the pole. And let's go ahead and paint the light. And then we can add the colors in a minute. So the light goes around the bottom like so. Like a smiley face. And another smiley face. And it goes like that. Something like that. And then we'll go up and over. About in the middle. And it has a little long piece on top. Right? So about like that, we'll add some color here in a minute. And there's the... All righty. So now let's go ahead and take the black since we already have the black. And I'm going to go ahead and outline the flowers. This again does not have to be perfect. Just has to kind of show expression on the flower. And so you know where the flowers are. This one, right? I just love these little flowers. Very whimsical. If it's not perfect, if it's not lifelike, it's whimsical. <laughs> and I do a lot of whimsical, don't I? So that's my favorite. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and I apologize. Let me get me out of this picture and let's see if we can do this bigger. Let's try that. Oh, yes. That is so much bigger. So much better. Um, I got to turn that off. Yes, I am so sorry. This is so much better. Next time I will remember to get myself out of there. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this other one here, just with a little black. And we're going to add other colors too. All right. Let's go ahead and do the leaves. Let's outline the leaves here. 
and see how everything's not perfect. It's very loose, whimsical, fun. Um, let's go ahead and what else here? Oh, let me do this too. Just because let's mark the grass, give it a little boundary there. And I think we're good there. So I'm going to wash that out and then I'm going to use a little, um, I think I need a little yellow. Let's use white first. Okay. So I'm going to add some white to the flowers and highlight the flowers. Oh yeah, I like this better. I don't think I'm going to add yellow. I know the picture had yellow and it's probably on the list. If you'd like to add yellow, please feel free. Feel free to add any color you want. But I kind of like the white and the black and the purple. And I'm just, these are just squiggly little lines I'm putting in here randomly. And I guess I'll make the white, the center white. And we'll make the center white here. Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, now we can go ahead and use the white and we can highlight some areas in here. Like so, right? Nothing here. And we will also, let's use some pink in there too. Just kind of throw that right in the middle into the mix. What do you think? That looks kind of good too. And then let's go ahead and take some, let's take some of that white up here and just dab it next to it. And it's stuck in the pink. See, I've got pink in it, which works great because I'm just going to take that fuchsia and put that right there next to the white. Give it some spots. What do you think? Give it a little personality. So I'm also, let's go ahead and spread the purple a little bit. Let's take a little purple on the liner brush and let's just kind of go down and let's add some purple up here. And then we will add the pinks and the whites. Let's add purple here because we can. Just random because there's purple in the flowers and maybe some white up here. I just love the randomness. Be random. Have fun with it. Spread the colors out and enjoy it. It's just so much fun. And the white definitely lightens it up. So if you're a little too dark, you white lighten it up with some white, with some hot colors bright colors. Okay. And I think, let's see, let's put some white in here. Kind of like that, just because it's a little white and purple on my brush there. I'm just going back and forth, giving it kind of a shadow. It went over my flower, my leaf. So I'm going to cover that back up here. I want it over my leaf. Okay. Look at the highlights. Now on the light, I'm going to go ahead and use the dark color. Which color was this? Oh, this is the um, Royal Fuchsia. And well, let's see where does that go. It's the top of it, I believe. Yeah, let's put the top here. Let's fill that in with the Fuchsia. I'm going to use a different paintbrush. And just a little bit bigger paintbrush, so it covers a little more space. Put that there. And I think I am, let's see, let's get some yellow. And, sorry about that. Let's get some yellow, and we will put some yellow in the light right here. Um, down here. And we got the yellow there. Uh, let's see. And maybe let's put some white in here. 
and it's not going to be perfect. I'm going to put some more lines through here in a second. Since nothing else on here is perfect, we need to make it a little whimsical here, and here, and here. Okay, and I'm going to take a little bit of white, and let's go down the outside of this, and let's kind of give it a little white. There we go. Okay. Let me kind of design that out a little bit, just with a few little lines there. Um, let's see, what else have we got? I guess I can go ahead and put a little bit yellow in the flowers. The picture originally called for yellow that I was using of Heidi's. And that kind of looks pretty. Yeah. You think that does kind of look pretty. I don't like it after all. I can do that. And I'm going to put some yellow blob in with the white in the middle, a little black. Yeah. And I think that looks really cute. Let me go ahead and take some white green, though, and let's add a little bit of personality to our flowers here. Um, to our leaves. I'm going to go ahead and give it some lines. And let's see. Go ahead and give some light color down here. And I am just literally going to just touch my brush on the canvas, give it a little green, a little light green, mix it in with that dark green. Super easy. Get that on purple. Got on the purple. I didn't want it on the purple. Okay. A little green here, a little green. And I'm actually going to blend it in with my finger. Yeah, it actually looks pretty cute. And across the bottom. Oh, yeah, I do. I like it. So what do you think about that? I think it looks rather cute. So there's your fun Eiffel Tower. Super easy. I will have the, um, oh, let me switch now. Let me get on here. I will have the, uh, tracer and all the colors and everything for you to use on here and i hope you paint it and you post it and let me know sorry about the glare on the lights i don't know where it's coming from here um but i'm trying to change my position to make sure that i think it's an internet issue is where i'm at in the house so um i need to change that and make it work better but i really do appreciate y'all watching and i hope you had fun and i really hope you paint the eiffel tower um and i guess we'll see you again soon thank you so much i really appreciate you Bye bye See if I can do that. <laughs>